Getting started. How to activate a Cloud Ally Backup for Microsoft 365, SharePoint, Salesforce, Google Workspace and Share Drives, Box, and Dropbox. Cloud Ally makes backing up the data from Microsoft 365, Salesforce, Google Workspace and Share Drives, Box, and Dropbox so easy. In this video, we will show you how to get started. Adding Backups. From the home page, click Add Backups. Select one of the many services that Cloud Ally supports that you would like to back up. In this video, we'll be demonstrating Microsoft Exchange, but the same procedure can be used for activating backups for Salesforce, Google Workspace and Shared Drives, Box, and Dropbox. Enter a name to describe the backup and click Authenticate. You will be directed to the login page. Make sure you sign in with your Microsoft admin account. Don't forget that the user you enter must have global admin permissions. Since this is the first time you are adding a Microsoft backup task, the system will ask you to provide read and write access to your Microsoft tenant. You now have the option of choosing numerous configurable options. Would you like to back up unlicensed accounts? This is only an option for Exchange backup tasks. The others don't have this. The default is yes. Would you like to determine when auto-archived backups are deleted? By default, this option is not selected, meaning that the backups are retained indefinitely. Would you like to automatically activate new Exchange mailboxes? Or new users for Box, Dropbox, and Google Workspaces? New drives for Google Share Drive? New groups and teams for Microsoft Teams. New sites for SharePoint and OneDrive. The default is yes. How frequently would you like the system to perform backups? The default is daily, but more frequent backups are possible by submitting a support request via ticket, chat, or email. What time would you like your backup to run? You can choose whatever is convenient for you. Scroll down to the bottom portion of the screen to activate your new backups. You can select a few, or click here to activate all of them. Click Action, and then Activate. When the pop-up asks you to confirm, click Activate again. Success! When you return to your homepage, the new backup job is listed there, and the status says, Awaiting First Run. The home page gives you a summary of how many accounts there are in total, how many are active, when this job was last backed up, and when it is next scheduled to be backed up. If you want an on-demand backup, you can choose to backup now, rather than waiting for the scheduled time. From this menu, you can also pause future backups, or resume a task that had been paused. As you can see, there is a recovery button on the home page, which leads you to perform a restore or a download of your backup. Click on the links after this video to learn more about how to recover your backed up data or to perform a bulk activation. Thanks for watching.